it's Sarah from sarahscoop.com and I'm so excited to have Jasmine Good from The Bachelor and Bachelor in Paradise here with us to give us the scoop on her journey to find love on reality TV. Thank you Jasmine for being here. Thank you for having me. First off, can you tell us how you even got started going on to The Bachelor? Yeah, so I didn't sign myself up. My best friend who I danced with in Dallas actually got offered to be in Ben Higgins season. Um, and then all of a sudden they just like called me and she said that, you know, Jasmine will be great for this. She went through this crazy breakup and I'm like getting a phone call from them and they flew me out to, you know, LA and it happened so fast. It was about like maybe within three weeks and the next thing I know I'm on the show. So obviously that kind of goes with your up for anything personality that we kind of see on TV. So, um, a lot of people were wondering like, if that's the real you. Yeah, you know, what you see on TV is what you get. Um, I'm really just open person and I'm like open book. You know, I am I tell it how it is and I think sometimes that can get me in trouble, but I just like to live my life as just being honest and just being just upfront about things and yep, that's who I am. <laughs> oh, what is the most challenging part then about putting yourself out there? Oh, wow. Um, I think the hardest part being on like reality TV and, you know, it's just – you know, you want to you want to continue to be yourself, but then you have to remember, oh wait, there's millions of people that are gonna watch this, so you have to like try to like you want to censor yourself, but you want to just be yourself. So it's really hard to like, you know, be completely open. Uh, but I feel like in reality, TV, you have to be, especially on The Bachelor, like you're there to be open, and this is the process. So it's just it's a struggle sometimes because you want to you know be yourself, but you have to be open to the viewers and let you know you're there to find love, so you have to be open. <laughs> we watched you on The Bachelor and then your love journey didn't end there. So you decided to do Bachelor in Paradise. Can you kind of share what made you want to do that? Um, you know, I think Paradise, everyone thinks like after you did The Bachelor, you have to go straight on to Paradise. Um, for me, I was really struggling with deciding if I wanted to go on it because I just knew that, you know, I opened up so much to like, like the world and have to criticize I'm very hopeful in finding love and I've just wanted that um you know happy happily ever after ending so I just thought you know why not try it and so yeah I'm on paradise <laughs> I love that so we got to see some things you shared on paradise can you share about your story with the princess yeah um so I after uh, college I was on the jets and then I decided to go try out for a Disney cruise line with one of my good friends and I didn't think I was gonna make it it was just kind of like a let's just try out thing what if and I didn't know at the time that Princess Sienna just re was released so she's pretty new at the time and I'm like wow maybe so I get to the audition literally like a week later they call me and they're like hey we want to offer you this position and I'm like holy crap like I could be the first African-American princess this is awesome so and travel the world at the same time so yeah so cool. you've had a lot of excitement happen over this last year what how is your yeah. life different like what's changed it's been crazy well you know I'm from originally from New Jersey um so I was living in San Francisco at the time before The Bachelor and you know thought that that's where I'm going to stay you know I was working a sales job nine to five and like this is my life and then the bachelor just like changed it. You know, I'm now I'm living in LA. Uh, people recognize me a lot, which is kind of weird. And it's like strange. And they're like, take a picture of you, choke me. And I'm like, no, it's so <laughs> weird. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, it's just strange, you know, because you don't think people, I forget how big the bachelor franchise is, you know? So it's just kind of cool, like living in LA now and just, you know, living like the after bachelor. Yeah. Guess. So going off of that, some people were asking for your advice if they are interested in applying for the show or following kind of in your footsteps. Do you have any advice for people that are looking up to you in that way? Yeah. Um, a lot of people have reached out to me about that. I think you just have to go into the audition process, just being yourself. I think, um, a lot of girls try to apply and think they have to be a certain character. And I think, you know, the casting producers, they know what they're looking for or, you know, they know what they want. And I think you just have to be yourself because at, when you go on the show, you are going to be, there's no way you can fake being anybody else in that environment. So just be yourself and have fun with it. Right. Okay. And the most asked question, everyone wants to know if you found love on Bachelor in Paradise. Well, I mean, I can't say that. Um, I can't tell you, <laughs> but um, I will say that it was a great experience, and you guys just have to watch and see. We definitely will. Thank you so much, Jasmine, and we are excited to keep following your journey. Thank you.